You probably saw the title of this video, maybe thumbnail or both, but as you can probably tell, I am the most, like I do hold the re world record of the most quests in a year, which you should probably know that because I made a video on it. And I guess this video I kind of want to talk about it as kind of like a journey kind of way, like how did I get this many quests in a year and like the way I quest, I guess. It's not going to be like a tips or guide kind of video. Because like I mentioned in my last video, which was, I think yesterday I uploaded, um, guides videos don't really do well, and I'm pretty bad at making guides in like a video format. On a stride, then yeah, I'm pretty good at that, but not in a video format. But I guess to explain where I am right now, I, I am in the main lobby, um, specifically main lobby 1 for the New Year's countdown and stuff, which if I toggle the chat back on it does get pretty spammy which is why i'm disabling it although you can still see people joining the lobby but i'm disabling it because it will probably distract me and i'll start reading it while i'm making this video and i don't want that and i should probably disable the players oh i accidentally click on the stairs um but yeah i'll turn off the players off to kind of prevent the lag i'm also in sight Ah, oh God, I gotta, I gotta stop doing that. I'm also inside the house because the snow particles kind of lag me out a little. Well, it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it probably won't look great on the video. So I'll just stay in this little house that I found. And just, I guess, talk to you guys from, like, the journey to start in the beginning. If you want more of a detailed kind of, like, 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 I don't know how to say this. But, like, if you want to see, like, because I'll be making a thread about my journey of questing this year as well which will be a lot more detailed and i'll mention a lot more things if you want to look at that then i'll probably link it in the description but for this video i'll just kind of like you know talk a few things i won't talk all of it because i don't want this video to be super long or get boring which in this case i think i'm already getting boring because i have not even started talking about questing it's like two minutes in or something but so i guess i'll talk in the very beginning on New Year's last year, I was also hanging around on Hypixel in this lobby. And I was thinking about, for the longest time, I really wanted to improve my stats on their server because... Oh, one of my friends found me. Well, anyway. I really wanted to improve my stats because... Even though I've been playing on, that, on the server at that point, it was about, I think... It was last year, it would have been, I think, seven years, almost eight years. Even though I've been playing on the server for almost eight years at that point, and I always said that I was like, I would say one of the more active players on the server, my stats kind of, um, wait, not this, kind of like lacked in a lot of mini games, and I just, I didn't really like that. Like, it's not like a, I care about stats too much, but if someone would say they play on the server every day for like years, you would expect them to have like a lot of stats in different mini games and for me i really didn't have a lot of stats in most of these mini games yeah i had a lot of stats in bed wars sky block pit murder mystery blitz but i want to improve my stats on games like um arena bra or well it's not here arena bra tnt games um cuffs and crims and quake stuff like that i want to improve my stats on those so, at first I thought, what if I went for 25,000 achievement points before the end of the year? And that was my goal, because, you know, that would mean I had to kind of grind certain mini games, and I thought it would be possible. And so that was my goal until January 1st, where I can still remember which achievement I was getting. It was, um, let's see, um, not Wait, where is it? Oh, it's this one. This is the achievements I was getting on January 1st when I was planning to get 25,000 achievement points in a year. And on January 1st, it was kind of like a more of a... Oh, New Year's starting. I'll, I'll toggle back on. I'll continue back the story a minute. And... Hey! Oh god, that was loud. That was pretty loud. I hope that didn't scare you guys is my volume low okay i should probably lower it just in case that happens again but yeah anyway 
like I was saying, um, January 1st was kind of a, like a preparation kind of day, like, I was wondering what games I want to grind first, what games I should grind last, and stuff like that, and that was my kind of take, or like approach, and while I was grinding um, this achievement, I, I, I wanted to check the questing, because the website I use is, I don't know how you say it, but it's this website, um, there's two main stats on there, it's achievements and quests, and I wanted to check the quest for a moment, because I also wanted to get some quests as well, but I wanted to make sure if I really wanted achievements, and I noticed, um, you know, I quested before, I first originally quested in late 2016, originally, if you kind of go, like, like, all the way back in April, that was actually when I first started questing, but it was kind of by force, my friend was forcing me at the time, and I didn't enjoy it, but if I did it by my choice, and when I was actually enjoying it, it was late 2016, so I kind of been in this community, like, the questing community, for a lot of years now, but I wasn't always in it, because sometimes questing does get boring, and it also makes you, like, have to quest alone, which I'm not a fan of, but anyway, I was, I decided to check the questing side of the website, and, you know, I was just looking at it, uh, I was seeing, you know, how cool, like, how much the website has changed over the years, because I, I did use the website all the way back in 2017, so it kind of changed a lot since I last used it, and I went to, over to records, because I know that at least around that time when I was checking the website, um, earlier, I guess, New Year's, last year, um, a lot of people were going for monthly records, yearly records, like, I don't think people always care about those records, but I feel like since, I think, 2020, people have been going for those records, and it's been something that people mostly go for nowadays, and I kind of check yearly records, because, you know, um, the... If I want to get the monthly record, I would have to wait another, like, 12 months for December. And I don't really want to wait that long. So I went yearly and just see, you know, how many quests people earn a year. I wasn't really interested in trying to get the yearly record. Because, again, I want to go for 25,000 achievement points in a year. Not, like, in total. Not, like, trying to, like, go, you know, like, trying to get 25k in a year. I mean total, so like going from 12k or no 13k, which I had at the beginning of the year to 25k. That was so basically 12,000 achievement points in a year. That was my goal, and I wasn't really planning on changing that, but I kind of realized how easy or how little like the number one record holder had on Quest at the time. Like obviously it's not you know little. But for some reason, I was expecting the number one person to hold the record to have like 30,000 quests in a year, maybe 40,000. And when I saw it was only 23,000, for some reason, that kind of sparked something. And I kind of realized this is definitely achievable. And so I was really deciding if I wanted to continue achieve, um, achievement grinding or questing. And so, for the entire day of January 1st, I was just deciding, I was doing all this nonsense. And then, on January 2nd, I decided I'm going to go for the quest record, the yearly record, which I did. And a lot of people probably think I was thinking about going this record for like weeks or months before. As you probably should for a normal person, like if you're going to plan on spending so much time doing something, you probably want to like start planning it weeks or months before. For me, uh, that was not the case. If anything, I started on the 2nd of January. Literally a whole day later than I kind of was proposed to. But that was when I was starting. Anyway, I kind of stopped talking there for a moment because I thought I was doing something with fireworks. Um, 4th of July, I mean, not 4th of July, I mean New Year's, it's going to be in a few hours, but I'm surprised there's already fireworks kind of going on. But anyway, like I was saying, so I basically started this massive year-long goal worth thousands of hours, literally, on the first day of January, like, basically, yeah, like the first day of January. For most people who are actually normal, not insane, they would 
started planning like weeks or months before but for me i literally started a whole day late this year i did not quite i did not do a lot of quests on the first day of january and yeah so on the jan uh, second of january i quested and that's kind of it um i kind of want to speed it up a little because i kind of realized i was very like specific on how i started questing and it's probably like seven minutes in already so i don't want to keep you guys around too long so january was a month of kind of like experimenting because when i first started actually questing i wasn't questing games like warlords i wasn't questing um megawas i wasn't really questing uxc um i wasn't questing speed uxc as well in some other games i was just basically i wasn't questing everything and obviously that had to change if i wanted the record and so slowly over time in january i started to quest everything to the point where i was just questing yeah everything like i was getting about i think 68 to 70 quests a day um it was like that for many months some games i stopped questing for a small period of time because i kind of got like too lazy to bother uh, to be bothered doing it and some months i just played a little less because maybe i was oversleeping or i was taking forever to get out of bed or whatever and so it was like that for many periods of the month where i was questing 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 and it was going well but the real test was really the first six months of this year because that was when i had school and if there was one reason why i wouldn't be able to do this well record for this year it was because of that so i really tried my hardest to um figure out ways how i can like do school while quest and basically my main solution was sleep less and i was not sleeping a lot especially in may i was sleeping like four hours a day in may just to like do school and do questing and honestly it was really tough but the moment i graduated from school that was when i knew things were going to get easy and it did unfortunately though um i would just mention this real quickly technoblade did pass away in you know in june and that day when you know the news came out that he passed away it really did have a fat on me to the point where I just kind of stopped questing for a few hours until I continued questing. I just, I was not in the mood to continue questing. I just felt really like, you know, sad, of course. So did everyone. And just, like, yeah, it just kind of had an effect on me. And there, I mentioned this because that was really the only day where I couldn't continue questing, but I just couldn't due to, like, how I was feeling. Like, even with something I forgot to mention, I got COVID in June, and even with COVID, I still powered through it and kept continuing questing. Even with COVID, which, by the way, was super awful to have, and it, it just kind of sucked that I got it. Even though I wasn't even going out, I only went out, I think, outside once this year, and yet somehow got it, but even with COVID... I still power through it and just still try to sleep at least maybe seven hours. I think I changed it to seven hours for a few days just to at least be a little healthy about it. But I still continue like questing all day long and not be on the bed like what someone with COVID should probably be doing. But I just had to continue questing and even with COVID, I still continued. But when technically passed away, it just it really like took all of the energy I had for that day. Of course, I still quest a little bit a few hours later, but I missed quite a good amount of quests that day. I just couldn't continue questing, but but yeah, but things were kind of going well. I was questing everything. Um, some games again, I stopped questing. Like I think the game that I stopped questing the most was UXD. I stopped questing UXD from February to May. And just recently, this entire month, I didn't really quest UXC. Because, I don't know, I just, for some reason, when I stop questing something, it takes, like, a lot of effort for me to kind of get back into it for some reason, even if I'm good at it. And I would say I'm kind of good at UXC. Not winning, but getting kills. Which is all that matters, at least in this period. Or at the quest, I mean. And yeah, everything was going well with the quest you know i was sleeping four to six hours every day i was i had to change a lot about my lifestyle like if i wanted to use the bathroom i had to use it at 
like this certain time of the day I had to sleep at this certain time of the day like I basically became like a robot for a couple well basically this entire year just having to change my schedule of what I did with like everything um but then September came around September was probably the month where I actually started to get a little worried that I could not get this record because everything died like the moment that school began for people everything was just so dead like games like turbo car racers wouldn't be starting vampire z paintball walls arena bra speed uxe mega wall like all these things just died overnight and at first i wasn't too worried even though i was missing a good amount of quests i wasn't too worried because you know people are probably not wait who hit me um no idea why, I don't know why there was a firework, but anyway, to continue, um, what was I saying, right, I wasn't too worried, because even though I was missing a lot of quests, I thought, you know, people were getting back into school, usually the first few weeks of school, people struggle with the most, because, you know, you were not doing school for like three months because of summer school, and, or I think not summer school, um, summer break, and, you know, you're not used to it, so you're struggling. So, I thought by the end of September, or at least the start of October, things would get back to normal. I was wrong. All the way from September to November, games were just dead. And I had to go from what... So, originally, I was waking up at 12 p.m. every day, and sleeping at, like, 5 p.m. earlier this year. They actually changed that to about 10 p.m., I think around, like... May and June until um, summer break started, which went back to 12 p.m. Then school started, um, which I also will mention. I don't have college um, or a job, which is why I could, why I was able to probably do this record in the first place. Um, but yeah, so basically, once school started for people, you know, like I said earlier, gains die. So I was like, okay, I'm going to start going to uh, uh, sleep around like three, wake up at 10. And it was working until things even got even deader in September, where that's where I had to start working up at 8 a.m., 8 to 9 a.m. And even that wasn't working because sometimes Warlords wouldn't even start for the entire week. So even no matter how, how early I woke up or how late I played or how much I played in general, some games just didn't start for that entire day. Or if it did start, it wasn't enough for me to get that quest entirely. So that was a massive issue for like from September to November and I did really poorly in November to the point where I'm not really happy with how I performed. And then again, I shouldn't be too mad because it was that it was kind of out of my control, but I really did kind of poorly in November. Um, and so in December, things started to get uh, started to pick up, especially when Christmas break started for people for about two weeks ago. Things started to, you know pick up again I started waking up at 12 p.m. again since games were filling up finally um yeah so everything was going back to normal and I kind of had two other goals alongside with this record I was going coming for I want to be the first person to hit 2,000 quests every month in the same year or like I guess 12 months in a row which yes I have I have achieved I don't think I mentioned that in my questing video but I have achieved that. Another goal I wanted is to be number one for every questing month of the entire year. Unfortunately, that, oh, I kind of liked for a moment. I thought my PC was about to crash. I got kind of scared for a moment. Um, in April, that unfortunately got kind of broken because I came second of that month. I got beaten by someone. And I kind of, at first I wasn't too bothered by it. I was like, okay, I can't. I can't get this third record then so then I I move on but then I kind of noticed I kept getting first in every month and I kind of got a little worried that it would just be April that I got second and it would be kind of annoying if I got first in 11 months but second in one month but luckily I did get past in September once again because of the dead um cues of going around the server and so it did beat me in September so I'm not too bothered by that anymore and then I guess we go to well today 
31st of this year. The very moment that you're seeing me recording this. And yeah, I got the record late last month. Well, actually, I kind of skipped over that. Yeah, so basically, if you didn't see the video I made the record on, I did get the record in late November. Um, I believe 23.6 plus thousand quests, I obtained the record. And something I kind of forgot that I meant to mention is that my original goal, if I did want to beat this record, I also want to at least get 25,000 quests in a year. That was really like my ultimate goal, 25,000 quests in a year. But then tell, um, not Tower Wars, that got removed. Um, World Wars, or I guess World Games, no it's World Wars. If you go here, yeah, World Wars. I don't know why it's called World Games. Anyway, World Wars got it, and I think that gave me the boost of being able to get 26,000 quests, which I kind of skipped over. But yes, um, last night, I hit 26,000 quests in a single year. That was my final goal after 25k, after I hit 25k in earlier this month. And it was kind of a struggle going for 26k, because I... I had to like make sure I do not miss too many quests and honestly I didn't even do this uh, that great this month. I missed way too many quests. But luckily I did get 26,000 quests in a year. Originally I kind of wanted to go for 27,000 but I think that was kind of dead since August. So I'm, I'm happy regardless I was able to get 26,000 quests in a single year. I mean yeah and honestly that's about it. Um, it was kind of like, just kind of like a recapture, like what I kind of did, what kind of like big moments of this year was. I could go really specific, like some of the toxicity I seen on the server, some of the issues, but I want to leave that for the thread that I'll be making. I'd rather leave this video a little bit more positive, at least for the viewing re experience, but I mean, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to mention. I am now a record holder most quests in a year about 5,000 wor hours worth of grinding but this is not the end at all tomorrow or maybe later I'll record a video but at least a video will be coming out tomorrow or actually I will be announcing it later tonight on this thread but I will be announcing a new goal for 2023 um with both a thread and a video to talk about it both tonight and tomorrow basically unless I, I decide to release a video tonight so which then will be tonight well it'll, it'll be tonight and tomorrow tonight will be on the thread and tomorrow will be on the video so i'm not going to obviously talk about the goal for a moment i almost slipped and said the goal but this goal is honestly might be way more massive than this quest and go. It's, it's going to require the same amount of energy, or I guess not energy, but like time and grind. So it's definitely not going to be like easier. However, I will have a little bit more freedom. I can go to sleep whenever I want. I can wake up whenever I want. I can go to the bathroom whenever I want. I can actually start sleeping seven hours. Um. But the go is Bedwars related. I won't say what it is exactly. That's until tonight or tomorrow. Or I guess basically tonight and tomorrow. Because I will be announcing it two separate times. And on two separate places. So and honestly the past. I decided this goal since October. H however I think the past few days. I've really been realizing how much more difficult this goal could actually be. Because like I said it's Bedwars related. But the reason why questing is as difficult as it is, is because, well, games are kind of dead. If every game on the server had at least 1,000 players, it would be a lot easier. Because during the summer, I was finishing questing about like 12 hours. With this goal I have in mind, I had to grind more than 12 hours. And again, I don't want to go too specific, because I want I want it to be a surprise. Oh, oh, oh. I kind of hit my mic for a moment there. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that, but... Yeah, so no one knows besides one person that I told a few months ago. No one knows what this goal is. And I am excited to announce it. Um, it's really going to be way more difficult than the questing goal. And honestly, it would probably be a lot more known if I managed to do it. 
because again it's bed war related and bed wars is a lot bigger than the questing community or the achievement hunting community and stuff like that so it will probably be something a lot of people will know and hopefully it it gets known because i know some people were kind of disappointed that my questing goal kind of went unnoticed for a lot of people but i mean questing isn't big so i'm not sad about that but what this go with bed wars i do hope it doesn't go unnoticed at least like by the end of the year when if i manage to break it because honestly even though i am confident beating this go it's gonna take a long time but i think i'm gonna leave the video here i honestly didn't know what i wanted this video to be around like i know i wanted like a video to be kind of based around mine i guess quest kind of journey but I didn't know how specific I wanted to be or what kind of wanted it to be in general. Until I kind of went with this, you know, kind of like a little small talk. Although I think the video has been going on for, I think, about 30 minutes now. Or almost 30 minutes, which I'm very sorry about that. I I think there's some, I think I went too specific uh, of the start of this year. And honestly, I over a lot of things most of the time so i think that was kind of expected to happen to i guess over explain certain things but but yeah now i hold the record for the most quests in a year over twenty six thousand quests um tomorrow is a new grind for bed wars which again i'll be announcing it tonight and tomorrow it'll be a really massive goal but i am looking forward to it and yeah, I think that's honestly it. There's nothing else I want to talk about other than Happy New Year's. Um, I'm sure by the time this video comes out, it's going to be New Year's for basically everyone now. Um, and yeah, I'll hopefully get this video out by tonight. Maybe I'll record my next video, which will talk about my 2023 goals. Um, May tonight. Or probably tomorrow. It's probably be tomorrow. But yeah, so I guess that's it, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep you guys um, around too long. I now hold the record. I am going for a new record next year, and I guess that's it. Yeah, I don't, I feel like I'm repeating myself now, so I'm just going to end the video here. Hope you guys have a happy new year's, and goodbye.